Hello. Um, okay, let me get myself situated. Okay, so um, first I'd like to apologize for always sitting in my bathroom when I do these. Um, a lot of times I'm sitting in my bathroom because um, I'm doing a pregnancy test and that's obviously not the case right now. So um, I am just sitting here because again, my whole family's home and it's pretty much the only place that nobody can hear me and I'll get some privacy. So anyway, um, so this is just to, I wanted to make this video to talk about my hysteroscopy and DNC that I had yesterday. Uh, so my original appointment was at 4.12.45, which, you know, was long enough because you can't eat or drink. Well, they moved it back to two and I was like, oh, you know, like, it's always worse when you when you can't do something um, like you know if you're thinking about it so um I did okay with that and um, we had to be there at 1 15 and let's see so I got there and I did um, you know urine they make you do a urine pregnancy test which obviously was negative um, and then let's see we sat for quite a while um, in the waiting room and I, it made me wonder why they even wanted me there early honestly because I really didn't do anything uh, but that's fine you know I understand that they're busy and there's other patients so anyway um, uh, so then I'll just skip it to the part we, we got called back um, a little after two and um, so I got let's see they did an IV which of course is terrible I hate that um, Took a little while to find a vein, but she did pretty good. She got it, and um, they got that in, and then they explained what they were going to do. And then I met anesthesia, and um, he told us what they were going to do. And um, finally, oh, it was a long time. I was the last patient of the day, so um, the doctor came in, and, and she said what they were going to do. And then they took. They said, okay, you can walk back to the, the OR, as it really isn't, but that's what they were, you know, call it. So, um... I got in and they had like big stirrup things that were up high and uh, they said, okay, I want you to, to, you know, I was on clothes from the waist down with a robe on and um, they said, lift your robe and sit on the end of the table as far as you can go and put your thighs on these things. So basically like legs up like this and um, the anesthesi anesthesiologist was right next to me and he said, um, okay, you know, he put the blood pressure cuff on this side and he put um, something else on this side. I can't remember, maybe a pulse thing. I, d I don't remember. But he um, he had me lay my hands at my side and the doctor came in. And they made me repeat my name and what procedure I was there for so they don't do the wrong one. It's for, you know, whatever purposes to make sure that they do the right procedure. And I said, um, you know, hysteroscopy, polypectomy, and... Um, then they're taking out the retained placenta. So, um, <clears throat> so I was pretty nervous. Um, I start getting nervous about um, not waking up. As stupid as it sounds. So he he um, he said, okay. So he put the mask on, and you know how quick that goes. And he said, just take yourself to another place. Like, what's a place you like to go? And I said, well, one time me and my husband went to the Bahamas with no kids. And that was all, that's the last thing I remember. And then all of a sudden I was waking up um, in the same room and they were like, oh, you're waking up, you know, quick. Yeah, that was good. And I was pretty high feeling. And um, so, but I felt fine. And when I got, they took me back to the little recovery room and my husband was coming back with my, um, they, they sent a narcotic prescription out. Um, and uh Really, I felt like period cramps, and um, they asked me on a scale of one to ten, what's your, you know, pain? And I said um, four. And then they came back a little while later, and I said, you know, it's it's like two. And they told me to get dressed, got dressed. Um, oh, they also did the saline ultrasound. So anyway, um, so when I stood up, it like gushed, and I said, am I supposed to be gushing? And she said, it's probably mostly like saline from the, you know, saline ultrasound. Okay. So, um, I did, um, get dressed and then waited a little longer. And by the time the doctor came in, I felt 
like I hadn't had anything done except the only thing I was feeling was almost like sick feeling because I hadn't eaten and it was like four something at this point and I was like dying you know so um anyway she said she came in she said we did the you know we took the polyps out so I'm assuming there was more than one she didn't say how many she said we got all the polyps got all the retained tissue um at least your right tube is open she's like I'm not sure about the left and I said, you know, the left one actually has scar tissue and I don't have an ovary there anyway, so I'm pretty sure that one's not open, but it's not an issue. Um, so everything is good. And um, then I, I, we came home, we, I did get a, I got a grilled cheese sandwich from a Dairy Queen on the way home. And um, so let's see, at home, fine, um, minimum pain, n hardly any bleeding, it's just watery type blood um less than i was doing before actually because you know i'm done with the birth control now um so now it's just a waiting game and i don't know what to expect because i took my last birth control pill thursday and um that usually you have a withdrawal bleed well i don't know if i'll have a withdrawal bleed with um being that i had a dnc so I guess that's to be seen. So now I have to wait two weeks, they said, before, let's see, two weeks, no sex, nothing, you know, in your vagina, obviously, um, no baths, and that's what I expected. And um, <clears throat> so now I guess I just need to start, um, as soon as I stop bleeding or having discharge, um, to start paying attention to my you know cervical mucus and I'll start using my ovulation tests and get back on it and I'm really excited because I do think that <clears throat> excuse me I do think that it's a good thing like I think I had did make the right choice and I feel like I'm I've got a clean slate um also I wanted to mention in this video that um I stopped drinking caffeine I think three days ago and I have not had one night sweat. So I don't know if that's honestly like, seems like silly, but I feel like it's related. Um, I also had been doing well with my eating until yesterday, obviously I was starving, so I got fast food on the way home, but I have not weighed myself. So um, I'm gonna get back on and start walking as soon as I you know, recover, which I actually feel great, but... Um, Okay, so I think that's it. I wanted to make this not a super long video, just a little update. Um, I feel good. I'm hoping that in the next, you know, maybe like two weeks from now, I might ovulate. I don't know how like how that works, but I'm gonna start tracking. I think I'm gonna probably wait till next cycle, if there's a next cycle, to start my fertility monitor, just because I don't know what my hormones are like from being on birth control. So um, other than that, uh, my little one is sick with strep throat, and um, luckily we had Brandon's grandma to watch her yesterday. There's a whole lot of germs going on um, at the school and in the world right now, so um, she is feeling pretty dumpy. But um, yeah, we're so it went really well, and I'm really excited to hopefully, you know, maybe this will help us. They seem to it. I've, I've heard that polypectomies will help. Um, you know, sometimes increase your fertility, but you know, we'll see. So anyway, um, <clears throat> so yes, feeling good. Um, everything went good. I have a phone call post-op visit um, on the 8th, and I don't know what I'm going to update about before then. I do think I'm going to start temping again here in a couple days, probably Monday, um, to see where my temps are. But I am excited to get back on it and I will make another post in a few days. Thanks.